Dearly beloved, sincerely departed, we just getting started. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all the latest content. RiceGang.MyShopify.com, log on for the merchandise. Salute to Showtime SP. So, uh, Hitman Holla. Salute to Hitman Holla, everything that he does, personally and professionally. I say this when I talk about artists because they do things on a consistent basis that us as fans really cannot do. You know, if they battle rap at a high level, and um, for us, it's entertainment. We get entertained, we buy pay-per-views, a lot of us follow them on social media. We buy into their brands, and this is the thing that continues to revolve. Without battle rappers, there is no us as far as fans, battle rap fans, and especially as far as media. Like, I'm not going to be up here talking if they wasn't about battle rap. So, uh, Hitman Holla, salute to him. And salute to Sue Surf doing what he does as far as with music. He's got Reed Dollars coming up. And I said when the battle was booked versus Reed Dollars that uh, who asked for this? Because, you know, nobody really asked for this battle. Hold on, hold on. Let me get my bread up. Bread up. Make sure I got my red cup. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? But, um, so I said, you know, not too many people asked for this battle. And I knew that sooner or later, Sue Surf would start to catch flack from his top tier, you know what I'm saying, counterparts. Uh, associates in battle rap. Um, so here Mayala jumps out there. Sue Surf got the nerve to talk heavy in a face off after ducking everybody and battling a nigga. Nobody wanted to see him battle. Nobody wanted to see him battle. You know, Sue Surf's face off just came out today on the URL app. URL has an update on the app. The app update is pretty cool. Um, you know, they got the, now you can skip from round to round, and um, they've got, now they're gonna have new battles up there, and JC versus Franchise just dropped, and now the face-off with uh, Sue Surf, and um, Reed Dollars just dropped. So, you know, Hitman Holla obviously took some offense to that. He said, yo, you're talking heavy to somebody that nobody really wanted to see you battle. Like, if Sue Surf loses a battle to Reed Dollars, like a lot of people is gonna go crazy on him. First of all, he shouldn't even lose a round to Reed Dollars. Like that's the that's how high the stakes is set. If he loses a round to Reed Dollars or if Reed Dollars makes this debatable, it's a loss for Sue Surf. It really is a loss automatically for Sue Surf because this is a game that he's not even supposed to be in. Reed Dollars is not Surf. I know you watch this. I know you do. Trust me. This is not a game that he's if Reed Dollars is in this game with the last two minutes left. And if the score is anywhere near close, you lost. You lost. But let's get back to the topic. Um, so Sue Surf shoots back. You got the nerve to be talking slick like you ain't lose to me already. LOL, shut the F up. You damn near lost to Bill. At me, chump. Next time, at me. The way to get at me is to at me. Um, obviously, you know, Sue Surf and Hitman Holla battled on some madness. Some Madness 4, um, that was, you know, when Hitman Holla had the rope, you know, the rope chain with the, with the tank top, you know, you, you damn near, you lost to ours, I mean, he said, you, you lost your last, you saw what I did versus Shug and versus O-Red, you lost your last war, you want the Hitman with the rope chain and the tank top, Zzz, be careful what you ask for, yeah, I remember that, yeah, 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 Some mad, Some Madness 4, um, and you know, Sue Surf is basically saying um, that he, he's essentially saying that Hitman Holla's living off the strength of his first round. Hitman Holla's first round was crazy. I rolled through with two 30s. Let's see if they really roll in 60s. Like, Hitman was wilding in his first round. I'm not going to lie. I had to battle 2 1, Sue Surf, um, second and third. Third, right? A third. <laughs> A third, yeah. So uh, it goes on further. Uh, you know, so um, Sue Surf. Then went on to tell Hitman that, uh, um, you know, you damn near lost to Bill. So the Hitman responds, damn near lost to Bill, but you was right in front going crazy all three rounds. Shut up. And then, you know, Sue Sir replied, you really living off your first. Everybody say they beat you. You say I smoked you in the first, nigga. You got to win two rounds and I'll beat you again, dummy. Then Hitman responds, you delusional. I call it how it is. And bet 10,000, fuck is you talking to? Set it up whenever. Set it up whenever. And Sue Surf takes a picture of some money and says, anything else, Gerald? And don't borrow yours from Nicholas. Saying, don't borrow your money from Nick Cannon. We could bet it up and we can do this again. Hey, man, Holla then went further and say, his fans keep him gassed. And that's the problem. Surf got the most clear L's out of top tier niggas. DNA, 
Calico, Aver, Big T got smoked by Clips in front of 1,500 people, folded and couldn't spit a third round, and y'all got him thinking his shit don't stink. F out of here, saying, yo, F out of here. Sue Surf running around thinking that he don't, his shit don't stink, but I will bet 10 grand, and this is um top tier. This is top tier shit talking right here too now. This ain't no no little bottom of the flyer guys. This is and this is the, the way this is happening is it's a lot of rematches being talked about. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of rematches. People are that's the thing on Twitter nowadays. If you're not on Twitter, you should get on Twitter because it's it's really popping off as far as uh people talking about rematches, you know what I'm saying? Um and he um he got into it with Calico. Calico was talking too, you know what I'm saying? Um about the first battle that him and him and Hitman had, it was the, the one round joint that uh, he had on the Snoop Dogg. You know what I mean? When they had the Gladiator School, uh, Calico was talking about that battle, and then Hitman called him out. Calico, sick of you bragging about that trash one round battle that your whole family was standing in front of the camera. I'll spank you on any stage. Watch your mouth when it comes to Hitman. Basically saying, watch your mouth. I will spank you on any stage. Now, in that battle, if you don't remember, Hitman, that was probably, if I think, probably the only, one of the only battles that Hitman really didn't get no reaction in. Like, Hitman got really no reaction in that battle at all. Like, I, I've never seen, Hit, I mean, his material wasn't super crazy like that, but it was more to me like a Snoop Dogg kind of crowd and not really a battle rap, battle rap kind of crowd because the microphone sound filthy. The microphone sounded filthy. Uh, it was giving all kind of crazy feedback. Hitman wasn't really getting no reaction, but Calico, I ain't gonna hold you. Calico was wigging on you. Cal, talk to him, Cal. Cal was wigging on you, Hitman. Um, I got Hitman clearly winning that battle. That's like one of the only battles that even though it was a one rounder, hey man, you got kind of smoked. I ain't gonna hold you. Sup, 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 sup. You got, got smoked. It is what it is. Hey man, was uh, you took your money. You was on Instagram taking snaps with it. I took the money Snoop Dogg sent me and went and bought a pack with it. He was wilding on you. I ain't gonna lie. He he definitely was wilding on you. But hey man, is, that's the reason why I give Hitman so much props and admiration when it comes to this because. Even though he's in the position that he's in, whether it be wilding out or with his career, as far as like him battling as a top tier battle rapper, Hitman will still come down to Rucker Park and he will still play ball with the battle rappers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, once they get up there, like where Conceited is at, Conceited, you're not going to catch Conceited down here in traffic. He, he's, he, he's not going to be down here playing in traffic like that because he knows what was happening out here. He knows what's happening on the pavement. He's not going to do that. He really got no... um. He got no he got no reason to. Hold up, get your bread up, let me get a sip out the red cup. Think about it. Think about it. But yeah, um, he don't got no reason to be down here playing in traffic. Hitman, on the other hand, he likes the, the, the thrill of the competition. So when you got that in you, you could still come down here and and play with whoever, you know what I'm saying? Because you know that when Hitman bring his A-game, big stage especially. He's really hard to beat. Like he's on a big stage, Hitman is really hard to beat. He uh he went crazy versus Rock. Uh, he got that win. He went super crazy versus K Shine. Got that win too. And um if you put him on that big stage, phew, he got a super powerful fan base. And then the way he be performing and doing all that shit right there, Hitman is a very hard out, man. Like he's he's not an easy one to get two rounds off of. Especially one if he gets the first. If Hitman gets the first round, he gonna you ain't, ain't too many people that's gonna beat him two rounds. Let's just be honest. Let's let's be to keep it a buck. You gotta be honest to keep it a buck. But gotta be honest. There ain't too many people that's gonna get two rounds up out of Hitman. So um, you know him and Sue Surf going back and forth. Sue Surf going back and forth. I know Sue Surf got read dollars coming up, but I said I have said this when this battle was first announced that Sue Surf versus Reed Dollars. It's a um, load management battle. It's a stat stuffing battle. Like it's literally a warm up for Loaded Lux. It's a warm up to, to a barometer. But I spoke to um, Surf, was it a day or two ago? I don't know. And he's taking, he told me he's gonna take the battle serious because he doesn't wanna, um, he don't wanna look like he's on his beat game going into 
his next battle. So even though it's a low management battle, from my terms or from the way I see it, uh, he's definitely going to allegedly take it serious. No two round suit, hopefully, hope, 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 ho hopefully. But uh, long story short, uh, I knew that the top tiers would would definitely start to take aim at him and talk sh because uh, when you look at the stats and all of the people that wanted a shot at Sue Surf, JC, go. Rum Nitty, well not Rum Nitty, Rum Nitty already battled him. JC, go. John John, go. Cortez, go. Danny Myers, go. So many people wanted a shot at um, Sue Surf and for him to be battling against the likes of a Reed Dollars. I know people say, oh, Reed Dollars from a, a historic perspective is a crazy battle because people always wanted to see that. Listen, I get it. I'm not taking nothing from what Reed did in his past, but this is 2019. It's a couple weeks till 2020. What he did in his last performance versus K. Shine, there is no indicator that he's even going to be able to survive a round versus Sue Surf, well, what Sue Surf can do. Like, let's be for real. I mean, if we just being for real and being honest and looking at things from the analytical perspective of what happens in battle rap, I just don't see that happening. I mean, now, if Reed Dollars could come in there and shock the world, anything is possible. But when you're looking at things from a, from a realistic perspective, how? How? Like, how? He, he has a total disadvantage against him. Now, we're not saying that having a total disadvantage means that you're going to lose. I'm not saying that Reed is going to die, he's going to get smoked or nothing like that. But me personally, I don't need to see Sir Surf sit there and talk shit to Reed Dollars for half an hour. I don't. Because what is he going to tell? What is Reed going to tell Sir Surf that we don't already know? Uh, now, maybe Reed knows some shit about Surf that none of us know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He could know. Who knows? He could pull out... Some crazy shit that none of us know and maybe that'll shock the world. But if you're looking at it from the inside looking out, um, Hitman Holler does have a right to call out Sue Surf based on what we're being given here. When that announcement was made, everybody was like, what the hell? John John been beating up on people all year and didn't get this look. JC been beating up on people for the last three years and didn't get this look. Cortez ain't been doing too... We would have respect. I think more more people would have respected it if it would have been a name that you knew was gunning for him. I think John John was in the most deserving position. John John was definitely in the most deserving position. JC too, and then right after that, you can start to look at other people. But I know there's a method to Sue Surf's madness, and he does whatever he does for the reasons that he does it. So you really can't like. You can't, you, like, he, the way he thinks is the way he thinks, and nobody's going to be able to crack his frame of mind or, or whatever the case may be. But he got a battle with Reed Dollars coming up. I'm going to watch it, and we'll see where it goes. Um, like I said, the, the face is on the URL app. Uh, they did do an update on the app, and, um, you know, it looks, it looks cleaner. Uh, like I said, you can skip between individuals' rounds. I know that was the thing that people were saying, like, you could skip between... The first round of one person to the second round, the first round of another person, and then the rounds are colored blue and red for one artist versus another artist. Uh, they don't have the little tap back button no more. You can tap back like 10 seconds. I didn't see it. If it is, somebody let me know. But, um, you know, hopefully the app continues to grow and, you know, people get good, good quality content out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's an app that that we support, you know what I'm saying? If we're going to support it, we need to buy into it, and hopefully it continues to grow. But other than that, you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Hitman holla. Sue Surf. Hitman want to put that 10 bands up. The bands. The bands.